many congratulations into another World Championship semi-final, but you were pushed to the limit out there against Callum this evening. No, not really. We could have, you know, we could have went a few more legs and then <laughs> went to sudden death. Uh, just for uh, no, God, wow. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, to be honest, I think I made it difficult for myself. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a cracking game. He played fantastic darts, and uh, you know he's one for the future. Was he a tougher cookie than what you thought? The '96 when you levelled it up, I thought. Or well, did you think you were then going to go on and win it? But the way he came back at you, did you think he had that in the locker? Even when I was two 0 down, two sets and down, uh, in, in you know some of the shots he pulled out and stuff like that, and I thought I'm not doing much wrong here. Just carry on what I'm doing, and. You know he'll 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 let me in because I you know because of experience you know and that's that's what I relied on. <laughs> you took a bit of stick from the crowd there, booing when you were going for important doubles. What was that like? Yeah, that that's fine. You know I'm, I'm, uh, I've, I've been through the booing people before. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, it's just uh, it's just me uh, releasing darts at the right time and, uh, and uh, it got. Uh, you know, when it got close, and when I was like six starts at 40 or something like that, uh, it was only because the heat in the room would rise and the atmosphere and, and that thing, my darts wouldn't just drop. They just carried on. <laughs> they felt like they was going. I thought, oh, that one's in. I just carried on going. I thought, do the same again. And just carried on going. But uh, you know, uh, you know, lucky enough, I got over the line. Huge semi-final against your World Cup winning teammate Gary Anderson. Thoughts on the game, and do you think the extra time he's had to rest? Obviously, you've had a, a tough battle there. Will play any part? No, not really. No. Uh, uh, well, might do. He's not. He, I'm older than him, so actually. So uh, no, I don't think uh, the old age guys uh, will matter at all. Okay, great Thanks. I'm sure you're expecting Callum to play well there, but after that first set, 152 check out, 112 average for Callum, is that a little bit of a, a warning to yourself? No, not, not at all. Uh, I know I've been watching his game, I know what he can do, and you know, uh, uh, I played him in Gibraltar, I know it was only uh, first uh, best to 11. I had 108 average and lost against him, so you know, I know, I know what uh, Callum can do, and uh, uh, but you know, I was more thinking of which darts to use. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Uh, 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 never mind what he was doing. Did it cross your mind to switch at any point in that game? Well, or? I did. Did you see in the match? Did, sorry. I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did uh, for a little while. Change, change my darts and give, give a, uh, another, another, uh, give a, a try in, in the practice while I was on stage and stuff like that, but you know, uh, I think it was a little bit too heavy to actually go in to play properly. Really. Just the emotion at the end, there was so much emotion on your face when you hit that winning double, it shows how much it meant. The emotion bit was only just down to because uh, I would have been gutted to lose the match because uh, the, some of them parts of the match, crucial times that I'd missed three darts or a double, clearly, and they weren't even close, and that was like the annoying thing in this game, and I was thinking, how many chances have I given you? And it's like, you know, to finally get the one. Yeah. Thank you. Peter, congratulations on the semi-final. Uh, great scoring there tonight, just a bit weak on the doubles, do you think? Yeah, definitely weak. <laughs> what was it about 12% maybe? <laughs> 30 34 I think by the end. Of yeah, well, uh, yeah, no, that was you know, doubles wasn't very good at all, but uh, you know, but I think to be honest, I think the scoring, I think between the, both of us, I think that was pretty good because we were just like it felt like that we was hitting each other with you know, lots of good scores and stuff like that. So hopefully it was good for everyone. Yeah, it was a great game. Uh, emotion at the end was a lot of that relief towards the end. Yeah, it was just relief of uh, obviously uh, you know winning it, uh, and then obviously knowing I'm in the semi-finals to play Gaz, 
uh, but the, 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 you know, the relief was, you know, uh, you know, I got myself back of missing lots of darts, not lots of darts, uh, darts at crucial, crucial times of the match. There's a Scotsman now in the final. Yeah. Seven times now in the last nine years, you don't get battered everywhere you go, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know I'm defending this from two years ago, so you know I've got to try and do a job. And then obviously Gary, you know Gary, he, he wants to go and win it for the third time. And uh, you know, but I'm here to try and win it for the second time. And uh, what a match, hopefully. Yeah, great match. All the best, now. See you tomorrow. Night. Thank you. Peter, Gary beat you five one on the way to his first world title. Opportunity for some. Yeah, we, we we discussed discussed that today. You know, uh, I, I sat I sat uh, backstage that day, and uh, I missed doubles at uh, crucial times. There, we could have been a lot closer. I, I sat backstage. I was in tears. You know, I've done that uh, losing to Phil Taylor uh, at a match play as well, and that, and I've gone on. Brush myself off, become a better, better, better champion, and I've got up and just uh, sort myself out and won it. So, yeah, last time you played Gary here, you had tears and basically you cried at the end of the match. Is that what you're saying? Yo, I, I was the backstage, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, I just sat there just going, uh, I thought to myself, why? why? Why do I want to play this game? <laughs> but, you know, uh, that was quite a few years ago and I've learned I've become a world champion and, and uh, a match play champion and a proper champion and uh, a number two in the world uh, for that reason because you know you forget about all the rubbish and get on with your future. You just had a really tense match, real big battle, you're into the semi-finals world championship, you seem really low-key and very, are you knackered or are you just, was it sort of I know there's loads more to come. I just want to go and get something to eat. Uh, obviously, got kept awake last night because some people just like letting off fireworks and kept me awake for a little while. For about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was called New Year or something. It was called. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, um, I've got loads left in me. Uh, that was. I, I needed that sort of game uh, to get myself ready. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, many congratulations tonight. You're quite prickly yourself about your doubles tonight. You're still having 100 over nine sets. You've clearly got more gear to go through. Yeah, I've got lots more, and so has Gary. You know, he's got loads more. You know, if uh, both of us turn up, which uh, hopefully we both do, you know, Sky and just the crowd are in for an, an amazing game of darts, and it's, you know, we're just going to be throwing everything at us. It'd be like, uh, you know, we'll have. Like three hedgehogs each, <laughs> and it'd be scoring, it'd be crazy, uh, hopefully. I know you've got a lot of respect for Gary, you've not had the best of years, but you always seem to come alive at the World Championship, didn't you? Yeah, just look, just look at the stats, uh, you know, uh, you know that's, the, that's the only time to come alive anyway, because the prize money is fantastic and just moves up and down the rankings, you know, uh, it's uh, that's it, you know. Uh, you know, I, I was guided, uh, you know, uh, you know, we didn't play in the World Cup uh, to go and, you know, uh, go and get it back again. But, you know, we, me and Big John, we went and done the business for Scotland, so, but, you know, uh, you know, we're World Cup partners and that, uh, me and Gas, and, uh, but tomorrow there'll be enemies on stage, you know, so, yeah, looking forward to it. And of course, you achieved your dream here a couple of years ago. This is the world title, but just how special would it be to become a two-time world champion? Well, I already believe I'm going to be uh, a double world champion, whether it's this year or not. I don't know, uh, but uh, we'll see. Tune in. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Happy? Yeah. Thank you.